Saturday, Simmons was asked by Chris Haynes who should win Rookie of the Year, and he said, quote, who would I pick? Me. 100%. I think I've been playing solid all year. If you look at the numbers, you'll see people who know the game know. And quote, Fizz, do you agree? God, this is tough, man. Because about four weeks ago, I was saying, you know, Mitchell. Yeah. And, you know, it's just so dynamic, both of these kids. You look at what Mitchell's doing in the West. After all of the transition with that team, losing all of the different mm -hmm. players that they don't have, who are the big guns on Utah? And he's in the playoffs with home court advantage. Look at what this kid's doing in the East, carrying this team without Joel oh, Embiid, yeah. averaging a triple-double and doing it without shooting jumpers. It's pretty amazing to watch both of them. Now I'm at a point, I'm just going to cop out and say, can we have co? <laughs> I'm going to just take the cop out and say, can uh, we have co-rookie of the well, year? Well, on the ballot, you can't vote for two. You have to pick uh, one of those. So it has so to be an tough, organic man. tie if that were the case. I, hope I so. was like you. I was on the Mitchell bandwagon. Yeah. But I think a lot of that was the lack of expectations for Utah once Gordon Hayward left. And, of course, Gobert got hurt early in the year, and he helped carry them. But if you really look at Simmons and what he's done all season long, he's right. It should be Simmons, and particularly this last stretch without Embiid should have cemented it for me. Yeah, I mean, it's hard because Utah had lost 16 out of 19 games. This was a team that was 10 games under 500 with a negative net rating. That they, they look like not just lottery, but like chilling with Orlando and Phoenix right. and Atlanta lottery. In January, in 2018, mm -hmm. this is the Utah Jazz. And for them today to say, we can be a three seed in the right. playoffs, a lot of that, it's not all of it because Gobert was hurt, but a lot of it is they sit, took the ball and said, it's your team now. Oh, for sure. And, Coach, you know how this is. For a rookie, for, for, t for a team with a good point guard in Rubio, to take the ball and give it to the rookie and say, it's your team, it says a lot not only about his talent but his character, oh. that he's ready for that mantle because a lot of times rookies aren't ready. And so I, I'm, I'm so impressed by Donovan Mitchell. At the same time, oh, if you ask me who I think is going to be a better player in his career, yeah. I'm, Donovan Mitchell may go to 100 All-Star games. He might be All-NBA a bunch of times. I think Ben Simmons might be MVP of this league. He's a better yeah, prospect. He's, he's Dr. A, J said it best the other day. He's a, he's a generational player, yeah. you know, Ben Simmons is. But at the same time, we're just voting for this year. Yep. That's and it. I've dealt, I've gone on the roller coaster with everybody, but at the end of the day, it's a credit to both of these kids Absolutely. how they have lifted up their organizations to situations where they now have home court advantage and a chance to win series in the playoffs. And these are two rookies. Well, let's also get to the response when that quote came out yeah. and Chris Haynes tweeted did that. We, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Mitchell went out on Twitter. Yeah. And was I like, love it. <laughs> I okay. love it. I love it. Uh, if Ben's got the courage to say I deserve it. Donovan Mitchell should be able to come yeah. back and say, wait a minute, I do too, right? So I, mean, I love it. That's it's the difference that. It's, coach, it's hard to, um, it's hard to argue, it right? Is, it's, yeah. it's anyone who says, other than the guys, obviously, they can be 100% yeah. and their teammates or whatever. But for the rest of us, we don't have a, a horse in this race. I don't know how anyone can sit here and be like, oh, yeah, it's definitely him. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely him. It's tough, man. It really is. Cause, and both guys are so different. That's the thing yeah. about it. You got one guy 6'9", yeah. another guy that's 6'3". He might be mad at me for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> but they're doing it in different ways, and they're impacting in different ways. And like I said, man, to both be to have home court, that's big time. Well, and personality-wise, for the drama aspect yeah. of it, like it's we fun. see the, the reaction and the initial statement. Want that. I, I want, I like Ben Simmons being cocky Ben Simmons. And I like that Donovan Mitchell's yeah. kind of like incredulous yeah. about it. And, and, you know, considered somewhat more humble, right? Because he didn't expect to be this yeah. good, nor did we expect him to be this good. They asked LeBron James who should be the MVP. What did he say? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Every year. Right? Yeah. Like, so, that you want that guy to have yeah. that moxie yeah, and absolutely. that belief in himself. And, and, he, and both guys have worked to earn it.